Well, hello there. How are you? Happy Monday, y'all. Happy Monday. How are you? I hope you're doing amazing. I know that I am. How are you? Oh my God, you don't even know. Like, seriously, you don't even know what's happening. Like, you don't even know all the things. All the things that God is doing. All the doors that he's opening. And you don't even know what today is. So I'm going to go ahead and share my own broadcast. That's what I'm going to do. That's what Mama's going to do. I'm going to share my own broadcast. Tina Moore Brown, how are you? My sister who's celebrating her conference, which is going to be popping in a half. So isn't that funny, Tina, that in June, the Dream Team was together in June. And... Um, the following, just less than 30 days later, the dream team is going to be together again. So if you missed it the first time, if you missed it the first time, don't miss it again. Because the dream team is going to be in the same building. I don't think the building is powerful enough to withstand the power of the dream team. But we're going to test it. We're going to test it, y'all. We're going to test it. Good morning yes we are a dream team we are the a team we are the team we're amazing and a half good to see you good morning god bless everybody oh my god i'm so excited like seriously i'm so excited good morning lillian who else came in and i missed it sorry about that it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be amazing so go ahead and share the broadcast because this is gonna be amazing this is we're gonna close out this month like nobody's business we're gonna close out this month like we know where we're going and what god is doing i'm just saying this is what we're gonna do so get ready i'm gonna go in it's gonna be amazing story time it's gonna be like never before i couldn't even wait I couldn't even wait for 1030. I have to come in a few minutes early because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing and a half. Good morning, RJ. Good to see you. Well, thank you, darling. I told you. I told you that I went all out. I am a huge fanatic of highlight and it's got to be popping because today is the day. Today is the day. So yes, thank you for noticing. I appreciate that. Thank you for noticing the glow. Thank you so very, very much. I hope you guys are having a good time. I know that I am, and I'm just really, you can tell I'm stalling, because I want to make sure that people don't miss today. Because you can miss story time all day this week, but not today. Any other day, for sure. Just not today. Mm -mm, not today. There have been so much fighting already in the natural since last night. You don't even know. All the fighting that has been going on. Like, serious punching and kicking and there's been fighting in the supernatural for today i don't know if you knew that i don't know if you have experienced that as well but that's what i have been i've been fighting in the supernatural for today and it was worth every single little every punch it was worth everything good morning pam good to see you god bless you god bless you hey marlo good to see you god bless you you guys know what to do jasmine darling good to see you you guys know what to do go to the bottom of the screen and click on the share button touch the share button because somebody needs this karina good morning good to see you god bless you and i have listen you guys are you're regulars you know what to do go ahead and share this broadcast because if you need jasmine just did it thank you so much honey if you need to change your stance if you need a change in your life, if you want to know why things have not been popping for you, if you want to change from where you are to another place, to another season, this is the place to be. If you know somebody's feeling down, somebody is depressed, somebody is not understanding what's going on, listen, they need to be here. Lillian, you don't even know. Like, seriously, you don't even know. This is the place to be. This is the place to be today. Grace, good to see you god bless you this is the place to be dominique good morning god bless you if you watch this broadcast live or the replay is not a coincidence barbara good morning good to see you god bless you if you are here if somebody shared this video with you and you have never seen my curls popping if you have never seen the awesomeness that is highlight it is not a coincidence this is not something that you you happen upon this is this is something that you have been praying for this is the day literally this is the day that everything ends thank you for sharing karina i so appreciate that when you share the broadcast just type hashtag share just go ahead and do that lawana good to see you god bless you thank you for being here listen this is the appointment 
you have been waiting for something for confirmation you have been waiting for a word this is the day that you get the word this is the day are you ready for the word today i haven't even introduced myself i haven't even gotten started but i just needed to let you know that today is the day any other day but not today today is a special day today is the day thank you for sharing pamela so appreciate that people don't even know what today is they don't even understand the significance today in the natural and in in the supernatural but i know i lift it i'm in it i know what's going on i know what's up and i'm here to tell you today i hope you realize that i hope you're ready for it lillian i'm ready for it i'm like so ready for it my god almighty my name is Catherine storing i am 10,055 things but preaching is the number one thing that i do i preach with my life i preach when i'm teaching for how to write books i preach when i'm writing books i preach when i'm preaching okay i'm a woman of god i'm a woman of faith i have a business i'm a mama i'm a sister i'm a daughter i am the beloved of the most high and i get to do all of that at the same time no apologies i get to do it like myself without compromise without trying to to tone it down and trying to be like everybody else i'm anointed i am called i am here for it that's who i am if you didn't know now you know that is who i am i am finally working on my next book this book is a life changing that this book is an atmosphere changing this, this is another obedience book this book is wrapping up the series that i wrote i didn't even know that i was writing a series and i'm a book seven go figure i didn't even know that all those books went together in this book right here God is amazing and a half. Do you know what he's had me do? He's got me organize the thing, do the research. I spent most of my day yesterday doing the research of the book. And then he said, I want you to preach it before you put it together in the book. As you live in the book, as I'm giving you all the things that I want you to do, I want you to teach this thing. I want you to preach that thing. And then I want you to take notes from the preaching and put it in the book. I never done that before, but that's what he wants wants me to do every time I write a book type that for me every time every time I write a book he likes to change it because he changes me every time I write a book God likes to change the way the method the idea the process he changes everything because he changes me can I just be transparent with you and tell you that that he has been changing me and a half that he's been doing a new thing in my life and he uses books to change my life and then he changes the life of a whole bunch of other people can I just tell you that is that Okay, welcome Natasha, welcome Elena, welcome Arthur Philip. I haven't even started yet. This is just the intro, but I just get excited when I'm preaching and sharing what God is doing in my own life and what He wants to do, and what He wants to do in your own life. Are you ready for story time? Type I'm ready. If you're ready for it, because I don't know if you're really fully ready. I don't know, but you're you're gonna be ready. You are going to be ready. Hey Joe, it's good to see you. God bless you. God is amazing and a half, okay? He is amazing and a half. I hope you know that. Yeah, I'm testifying, Karina. You don't even know. God is doing a new thing, and I'm ready for it. I am ready. I got my ticket. I got my bags. I got my passport. I'm ready for it. What are we going? Who are we going to teach? My, my, my preaching Bible arrives today. You don't even know. I'm going to have to do a, a, a video when I get that, that preaching Bible because that is the beginning of everything and it's coming before tomorrow. My preaching Bible is coming before tomorrow, y'all. You don't even know the significance of all, all of that. You don't even know. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, Karen. Good to see you. God bless you. Let's get into story time because I'm too excited. I'm fired up. I'm excited about what God is doing in my life, what he wants to do in your life. And you just need to know that you just need this one word you just need this word so tap on the screen like it's free i want to make sure that everybody knows before i get started i don't want anybody to miss it when you tap on the screen that lets facebook know that people needs this video this lets facebook know that he they need to go and just push it out and let people know that story time is on okay awesome 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 thank you so much guys for coming on start tapping on the screen just do it just do it receive that word as you tap on the screen are you ready let me know if you're ready by tapping on the screen because i'm i'm ready and a half for you and for me and everybody else watching watching the replay or watching live if you're watching the replay you also can tap on the screen you also can receive this word it is for you it is 
for you it is for you if you feel somebody needs this tag them on this post type the the, the character at and then type their name because they need this they need this today not tomorrow because tomorrow is a whole oh my god tomorrow don't even get me started on tomorrow let's get started with story time listen god is amazing God is amazing. God is amazing. If you did not hear the first, second, three, four, five times, God is amazing and he's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. Let me tell you what happened this weekend. This is part of a story time. Sunday, Sunday, I'm minding my own business and God says, I want you to do this. This is what I want you to do. So it was unusual, but I did it. I listened to the word. It was popping. It was amazing. It blessed me in a half. Have you ever gone? Have you ever listened to a message that was tailored for you? Has has I ever happened to anybody else other than me? I listened to the message and I'm like, no wonder you di- redirected my steps. No wonder you changed the direction of where I was going. You needed me there. You needed me to hear that word and you needed me to hear it then, right there and then. In that moment, I got the word. It was confirmation, confirmation. That's for me. That's for me. That's for me. Yep, that's for me. That's for me. That's for me. That is definitely for me. So that's what happened yesterday. After that word, I was finally able to begin working on my book. Right after that word, I didn't even eat. I didn't even do anything. I ate super late because I was in the zone. Have you ever been in the zone? You're working on something and you're not breathing. You're not moving. You're just doing that thing. You're just doing that thing. That's what I was doing. I'm typing. I'm doing research. I'm setting things up. I'm doing that thing. I'm reading uh, the Bible in three different in three different versions i'm getting i'm gleaning different things it is popping it is happening i cannot believe it's just happening the research is coming through even the research is preaching even though it was not it was not faith-based but it was an amazing science-based research i just blessed me the whole thing is blessing me it is just amazing and a half i'm doing my thing and i'm doing the research and i'm doing my thing and it's just blowing my mind good morning sambia good morning leslie good morning heather good to see you god bless you I'm doing my thing all day long yesterday. I have peace. I find word, message after message after message. I find the encouragement. God is doing a new thing. It is popping. It is amazing. I'm ending my day and I'm just blown away by what he's doing. I'm ending my day doing my thing. And then last night I go to battle. Have you even gone to battle and you don't even know that you're going to battle? You you don't even have your, your battle sandals. You have like flip-flops, not that I wear flip-flops, but you have flip-flop like shoes. Have you ever been in that place where you're just chilling, you're minding your own thing, your business, but then you go to battle. And that's what happened last night. I went to battle last night and it went on for hours. I'm talking about from the moment I went to bed, from the moment that I got up, I was going to battle. And you know when you're going to battle and you know you're going to battle, but you kind of want to sleep, but you're not really sleeping. It is happening. You're aware of what's happening. I continue to decree and declare as I'm battling all night long. Has that ever happened to anybody else? Tap on the screen if that's ever happened to you. I am battling in the supernatural. I'm moving. I'm battling in the natural. This thing is happening. I am not getting tired. I'm not getting weary. It is happening. <clears throat> it is happening. And it's like I'm winning. I'm winning, y'all. I'm winning the battle. And I'm not getting tired. I'm fighting. And I'm fighting. And I'm showing up. And I don't get tired. And I don't get tired. And in the fighting, I know that I'm winning. In the fighting with every punch, I'm doing this thing. And it's just giving me more strength. And I don't. I woke up in the morning and I wasn't even tired. Can I tell you that I slept very little last night? I don't look like I'm tired. I don't sound like I'm tired. I was in the zone and a half. I got up that morning this morning i jumped into my my devotional time i'm reading the book of acts and it's good paul is in front of felix and he is defending himself and he's been bold and he's been wise and he's just been amazing and i have he's not scared he's not afraid he's doing the thing that he has been called to do and he's using his authority he's using his rhetoric he's just been amazing and i have why right in the middle of me reading that 
right in the middle of me reading that, God gives me the vision for the cover. Now, I'm not a designer. I don't know how to draw, but I get my concepts from God. I always know what my concepts are going to be. God gives me every single concept. And then I document it. I find inspiration. I find pictures that denote, many pictures that denote exactly what I want. And then I, I pass, I, I hand that over. I hand that over to the to the designer and they put it together but god in his amazing um wisdom and in 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 uh in, in in generosity he gives me the exact concept of the the cover and it is popping it is amazing i'm seeing this thing i'm stop what i'm doing i start typing really quickly into my into my file the the notes and the things that i'm seeing so i can better research and describe it to the to the designer and what i realize is that the cover is something about being it is a progressive present ing it is being it is becoming and that's what i'm going to convey with the cover and that's what i'm telling you today you have been just be be that's it you're like i'm free i'm free i free that that's all you've been for the longest time i free and you don't realize that you are being free that it is happening that this is something that is progressive that you are in the battle and you know when you show up i never fought in school but i saw people fighting and i can always tell who was gonna win anybody's being in a fight or singing a fight in school i always knew who was gonna win by the way they showed up by the way they carried themselves so in this vision well, God showed me was, Catherine, I need you to change your posture. Are you with me? I need you to change your posture. Your posture has been like they are bigger than you. Your posture has been too meek, if you will. Your posture has been like, you know what? Well, you know, if you want to fight, I'll fight. But I don't really, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. And I understand that. I'm, I, I was not a fighter. I was a lover. But God said, you are a fighter. You you are a mighty fighter. You are a mighty warrior woman of God. You need to stop fighting like you're winning. You need to fight like you know the fight is fixed. You need to fight like you know that it doesn't matter how big they are. It doesn't matter how strong they are. You are already victorious. When I realized that thing, there was something in the inside of me. No wonder I was not tired last night. No wonder I had to have that fight in the supernatural last night. Because what God was showing me was, I got muscles, y'all. Listen, you don't even know. They are muscles. He wanted me to flex. He wanted me to see that the battle was not like before because I was not the same person. The enemy was the same, but I wasn't. The enemy came to try me, but he didn't know that my posture had changed. He didn't even know that I have muscles now. He didn't even know that I understood that I was already a winner. He didn't even know that I already have my shield up and I can carry my shield and I can pick up that shield and I was not going to get tired. And the more that the, the enemy tried me, the more I fought and the more I fought, the more excited I got and the more excited I got, the more I punched and the more I punched, the bigger I became, the stronger I became, the more powerful I became, the more anointed I became. It, would, it was amazing. I was fighting and I'm like, oh my God, I am fighting and I did not get tired. I did not get weary. I did not get upset. I did not cry. I continue to use the word of God. I continue to move and every time I move, I decree the war of God. Every time another attack came, I knew where I was coming from. I knew who I was. I knew where I was going. I knew that this thing had to be defeated once and for all. I knew that I was no longer the same. I knew that I had been changed. Can I tell you that you have been fighting and you are tired and you think this thing got you all figured out and you think this thing is going to knock you out on your back. You think this is said, can I tell you that this fight is different? Can I tell you that this fight has come for God to show you that you can flex your muscles? Can I tell you that this fight has come at this moment, at this time, whatever you are battling, for God to show you that you can change your stance, that you can change your battle cry because you're no longer the same person that started in the battle. You're not the same person that showed up at the beginning. You are different. You have been changed. You are mighty. You are called. You are powerful. You are a winner already. 
Start fighting from a different stance. Stop looking at the fighter from this, uh, at the other person from this end and there over there. You have to go up. You have to go up and stand all the way tall. Stop, stop looking at them from down. Stop looking like, oh my God, you've been doing this the whole time. Maybe you think you're Wonder Woman. You've been this, doing this the whole time. What you need to do is you need to stand with your shield up and you have to start pushing with your body. You have to start pushing and say, what do you think? Who do you think you are? Don't push me. And you push them back. Who do you think you are? Are you out of your mind? I know who I am. I know, I know who I am. I'll push you. I'll push you back. I, what, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? And then the more you do that, the muscles keep growing. And the more you do that with the resistance, listen to me, with the resistance, with the resistance, the enemy keeps coming up, but you're coming right back. The enemy keeps coming and you're coming right back and they're hoping that you'll get tired. They're hoping that you're going to give up. They're hoping that you're going to cry. But what's happening is the more you go up, the stronger you get. The more you go up, the, the higher you go. The more you show up, the lower the, the, the more you realize who you are and whose you are and who's fighting with you and you're not crying and you're not complaining. You are saying, God, I am victorious. God, I am the one that you created for your glory. God, I am here for it. I was created for this thing. The fight is here. I may not have been a fire when this thing started, but you better believe that I'm a fire, a fighter now. I may not have been someone that stood tall and said, who do you think you're messing with who do you think i am don't you know that you've been messing with me for far too long and i let it go on for far too long whatever that situation is whatever that thing that is happening in your life that you have allowed in your life for far too long because you wanted to be this quiet um nice dignified christian and you wanted to just be like well you know i decree and declare and and you know Maybe it would be great if you left me. No, listen. I decree and declare that you are illegal. I decree and declare that you have overstepped your welcome and it is time for you to go. You're no longer welcome here. And if you're not going to go the nice way, I'll kick you out in the name of Jesus. You don't even know who I am. You don't even know what I can do to you. But I'm going to show you right now. I'm taking up my shield. I'm taking up my sword and I am showing you who I am. I'm taking up my shield and it's a big one. It's a heavy one, but I can carry it now. I want to carry it now. I'm going to use it now. I'm, I'm going to body check you so hard that you don't even know what your last name is. I'm going to body check you so hard that you don't even know who I am. I'm going to body check you so hard that you're going to say, how did that little girl get so big? How did that little girl got body check me like that? How on earth did that happen? And you guys said, well, you know what? Every time you came at me, you pushed and you thought that I was not winning. Every time you came at me and you added one more thing, God was using the, res the power of resistance to build me up. Every time you came at me and you thought that you were winning, you were, you were strengthening me. Every time you came at me and you thought that I was defeated and you thought that it was over for me, what God was doing was he was using you to grow me. Every time you came at me and you told me that I was a loser and you told me that there was no point in me showing up what you were doing was you were showing me who I was you were reminding me that I am the beloved you were reminding me that this fight is already won you were reminding me to use the instruments to use the shield to use the sword and to come at you and finally I have realized it so you did not know that my muscles were growing you did not even know that my confidence were go was growing you don't even know that my my voice was getting stronger you did not even know that my boldness was on point. You didn't even know that I did not see myself as small anymore. You didn't even know that I understood that if you mess with me, you mess with my daddy. And when we come at you, it ain't gonna be pretty for you. Now I know who I am. Now I know where I'm going. Now I know that the battle is not my enemy. I am your enemy. You thought you were my enemy. You thought you were messing with me. Listen, the tables have turned. I know who's 
I am. Now you're in trouble. Now you have you have gone and done it now because now I understand that I thought you were my problem. Listen, now I'm your problem. Now I'm going to tell you who I am. Now I'm going to show you who I am, why I'm here, why I was made. I'm going to show you the mighty power of God because he says that He, if he is with for me, who can be against me? I'm going to body check you. I'm going to push you. I'm going to show up and I'm going to tell you who I am. Not only am I going to tell you, but I'm going to show you and I'm going to fight with you and I'm not going to get tired. I'm not going to get weary. I'm not going to cry no more. If I cry, I'm going to scare you because my battle cry, I've been practicing my battle cry. Those tears, they strengthen my battle cry. You don't even know what you have done. You don't even know what you have created. You body check me one too many times. Can somebody type that for me? The enemy has body checked me one, two, many times. And on the last one, when you came at me and you thought I was going to go down again, I stood strong. That one time that you came at me and you thought you, you were going to mess with my mind and you were going to mess with my calling and you were going to mess with my family, you body checked me one, too many times. I stood still and I said, come at me. You can push with all you want, but I'm standing firm. I'm standing on the word of God. I'm standing on my calling. I'm understanding that before he made me in my mother's womb, he gave me the strength and my, my strength has, has come back. And I now see myself as he sees me. I'm not little anymore. I'm not puny anymore. I'm not scared anymore. You thought you were my problem. I am your problem. My Jesus defeated you on the cross. My Jesus put you in your place. My Jesus says that I'm reigning with him, that I am co-heir with him. Listen, you don't even even know what you have done you don't even know what you have done you are in trouble now you have gone and done it now I know who I am I know where I'm going and I also know where you're going I not only do I know where I'm going I know where you're going and I just got reminded I forgot for a moment I didn't really get it for a moment it just escaped my mind but I remember where you're going and it ain't gonna be a picnic for you and I'm telling you it's not gonna end it's not gonna get end well for you while I'm uh, while I am serving my Jesus while I'm I'm serving my Jesus and singing worship songs to him you're gonna be burning in the lake of fire you're gonna be burning in the lake of fire not only you're gonna get a beat down from me you got a beat down from Jesus mine is just a bonus mine is just a gift you don't even have to pay for that beat down I'm gonna give it to you uh, just because I can I don't have to defeat you you are already defeated I want you to tell the enemy that right now. I don't have to defeat you because my Jesus already defeated you. I don't have to defeat you because my Jesus already did it for me. And my body check, when I when I trust that sword into your stomach, into your head, and I tell you, I know who I am. I know where I'm going. I know where you're going. And you, devil, are already defeated. That situation that has been in your life for far too long, it's already defeated. Who is this for? Who needed to be reminded? that this battle has been fixed from the beginning who needed to be reminded that if God is for you who can be against you who needed to be reminded that if he sends you to the battle is because he knows you are already victorious can I get an amen somewhere are you guys alive are you hearing what I'm telling you and can I tell you the significance of that battle last night can I tell you the significance of that battle last night? Today is July 30th. We are at the end of the month, okay? We have one more day left. And now I'm not tired. My muscles are warmed up. I'm ready to go. I am moving my legs like it's not tomorrow. I'm ready to kick some serious enemies behind. And I'm flexing. And I'm using my, my shield. And I'm not using my sword. Can I tell you that the, the month of July is ending on a high note? Can I tell you that everything that has been on the opposite side of you? Can I tell you that everything that the enemy has tried to throw against you? He is 
changing for the better. Can I tell you that we are entering into the eighth month of the year victorious? Can I tell you that things have been turned around and that you can keep fighting, but you have already won? This is just for fun. This is just God being silly. This is just God showing you that you had it in you all along. You can fight today. You can be go on fighting until tomorrow. You are already victorious. You just you just messing with the with the enemy because of all the things that he has done for you. He's just letting you get in some cheap shots. He's just making you body check him again. He's just making you throw a uh, throw throw uh, rocks at him and t call him all kinds of names because he's already defeated. He's just allowing you in the fun. Jesus had all the fun. He said, "Listen, I don't want to have all the fun. I just want to let you see what you can do when you believe who I told you that you were." Can I tell you that that God wants wanted you to remember who you were. You've been a fighter your whole life. You have been a winner your whole entire life. He knows who you are. He knows who you are because he made you. He made you that way. He made you a fighter. He made you a winner. Can I get an amen? He made you a fighter. He made you a winner. He just wanted you to remember. He just wanted you to remember. You watch those muscles. I'm telling you, all the atrophy that you have experienced, all the pain, all the shots, and all the times that you fell down, you were just building your courage. You were just building your muscles. You were just becoming the person that God has called you to be. I told you it is progressive present. I'm telling you it is happening right before your very eyes. It is already done. He just wanted you to see it. He wanted you to go to the to the to the battle one more time so you can see yourself as he sees you. The body is on point. The thighs are strong. Your legs are even stronger. Your arms are popping. They're bulging up in the spirit. Can you see it now? Can you see yourself rocking that battle outfit? Can you see yourself with your shield strong and powerful? Can you see your Yourself becoming who God has called you to be as you show the enemy that you have remembered who you are. Can you see yourself that way? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling some kind of way right now. I don't know about you, but I'm remembering some promises. I'm remembering some mean things the enemy did to me, and I'm getting some kind of mad. I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm feeling like body checking the enemy one more time just because I can. I feel like raising up my legs and just kicking him right in the chin just because I can because he robbed me of too many days he robbed me of too many weeks he robbed me of too many months he robbed me of too many years but this is over you're getting evicted you're getting out you're getting out you have been thrown out you have been defeated in the precious name of Jesus are you feeling this are you ready to claim this for yourself are you ready to show up the battle at the battle like you know that he has made you for such a time as this are you ready to show up knowing that you are not gonna lose again you have not been losing you have been winning you have been changed you have been stripped away of years of, of layers upon layers of things that no longer serve you. Many of you are not even big or fluffy. You're just covered with layers upon layers of lies. You're just covered with layers upon layers of things that are not even true. You have allowed lies upon lies to come into your life. And God is saying it is time for you to let go. It is time for you to understand that you are not who the enemy is says that you are. It is time for you to understand that you were not losing, you were winning. It is time for you to understand that you are already delivered, that he has been with you the whole entire time. Stop kneeling down when you have been created to stand up. Stop kneeling down, taking every beating like this saying, please, no, I had enough. I cannot take it anymore. It is time for you to start body checking. It is time for you to start punching. It is time for you to start biting. It is time for you to kick some, some serious enemies behind. It is time for you to remind the enemy that you know where he's going. It is time for you to tell the enemy, you can do everything you want me for me. 
You can do all kinds of things to me. It don't matter. You're still going to the lake of to the lake of fire. You can try to mess with my mind. You can try to take more things from me, but I'm still going to see my Jesus. I'm still going to heaven and you're not. You can taunt him. You can even egg him on. I, I encourage you to egg him on. You can come in and take whatever else you want. That is temporary. I know who I am. I know where I'm going. And better than that, I know where you're going. You are messing with me because my my father is using that. You meant it for evil, but he's meaning it for good. So I know that you are already defeated. You can kick and scream. You can throw a temper tantrum. I don't really care. I'm about to check you one more time because I know I can do it. I'm about to check you one more time because as I body check you, I'm growing in my faith. As I'm body checking you, I'm remembering who I am. I'm seeing myself in, in my mother's womb and I'm seeing all the gifts and talents that my father deposited inside of me and I'm not going to allow you anymore to mess with me. I'm telling you right now that you are defeated, that I am the beloved, that I have been called for such a time as this and your time is up. Your time is up. You are done. You are done. I'm entering into my new season and I'm not going to enter timidly. I'm not going to enter like I don't belong. I'm going to strap my stuff. I'm going to be biting you, checking the you the whole time and reminding you where you're going and who I am. You can keep screaming, but I cannot hear you anymore. You can keep trying me, but it don't matter anymore. I don't even hear you over my own battle cry. I don't even hear you over my own battle cry. I heard you for far too long. I cannot even hear you anymore. I'm going to the battle and I'm going as a winner. I'm kicking name. I'm kicking butts and taking names. You don't even understand it is going down it is going down and i'm gonna defeat you with jesus right beside me we're fighting you are done we're just messing with you now we're just throwing you now you don't even know you don't even know so today july 30th can i tell you you'll be fighting today You'll be fighting tomorrow. You'll be dancing on Wednesday. Can I tell you that? That this fight is a good fight? Can I tell you that this is a fight that you don't want to shy away from? This is a fight that you're going to enjoy. This is a fight where you're going to have signs. This is a, is a fight where you're taunting the enemy. This is a fight where you're kicking him into submission all the way into your next season. This is the time when you're shouting so loud that you cannot even hear the lies of the enemy anymore. This season season is so good. This season is ending on such a high note and you didn't even know it. You didn't even know that you are ending this thing on the right note. You didn't even know that this fight is a fight that you need so you can finish the season strong. You know how sometimes you're running and you're trying to make it to the lap, to the finish line, but you can never make it. You've been running and you're tired and you're thinking, oh, I cannot do this one more mile. And you don't, you don't even realize that it is a reservoir. Type for me reservoir. It's not an easy word to type, but type it in whichever way you think it is spelled. That is a reservoir of energy left on the inside of you. That is something that he has put on the inside of you that you may not even know that it's there, but it is there. Keep showing up. Don't quit running. Don't keep fighting. Don't keep, don't stop body checking. Don't stop the queen and declaring that you know the plans that he has for you. These plans are really good. Don't stop prophesying over your life. Don't stop prophesying over your business. Don't stop prophesying over your relationships. Don't stop prophesying about the things that God has done for you. There is, there is some left inside of you and it is the best. God always leaves the best for life. Can I get an amen? God always leaves the best for last. Always, always. He always leaves the best for last. You have lost some, some things and you have been angry about it. You have lost some things and you have been reminiscing about that thing. You have lost some things and you've been saying, oh, if I could just get that thing back. You have been losing some things and you have been saying, oh, if God could restore it for me, what I have lost in the battle. And you've been saying, God, please, please, please give me that stuff back. Let it go. 
in the name of Jesus, I hear that in the spirit, just let it go. You don't need those old trinkets anyway. They were not up to standard anyway. That's why he allowed the enemy to take it. Can I just get an amen? That's why he allowed the enemy to take it because it was not up to your standards. It was not for you. It is not what he wanted for you anyway. Let it go. Say, you know what? You keep it. I don't even want it anymore. I have better than that coming because my father always leaves the best for last. Can I tell you that it doesn't matter what you see today. It doesn't matter what you see tomorrow. Joy is coming in the morning. Can I get an amen? Are you excited like I am? Are you ready to shout and go to your praise corner and let the enemy know that you are, that you got this, that you and Jesus are victorious, that you are ready for some fighting, you are ready for some preaching, you are ready for some praying, you are ready for laying some hands, you are ready for this thing. This is your season and you're not going to take, you're not going to go down taking it down you are done with that you are done being passive you are done being timid you are ready to body check some people i don't know about you but you have been living the lie that you are an introvert you're an in, you know you're not, you're not an introvert can i just tell you that you are not an introvert mm -mm. that was a lie from the enemy you are powerful you have presence you have confidence there is something about you when you show up can i get an amen when you show up the whole atmosphere atmosphere changes when you show up there is a hush that goes about the room they know that a game changer has shown up they know that there is a mighty man a mighty woman of God that just shown up and it's about to do some serious kingdom business who am I talking to who am I talking to are you ready to do some serious kingdom business business i'm not talking about doing a little preaching over here i'm not talking about doing a little preaching over there i'm talking about preaching the walls down i'm talking about preaching the the um the demons out of people i'm talking about preaching disease out of people i'm talking about showing up and you walking by people and they're healed because of the anointing by the remnant of your anointing i'm not talking about showing up and being quiet in the background that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about serious preaching i'm talking about anointing that has never been seen before i'm talking about doing what god has called you to do in such a supernatural way that people have to say who on earth are you who is your father who is your father remember when when Saul saw David kill Goliath and he said who is his father who is it? who does he belong to who are you where have you been what is going on how were you able to do that and you can say oh you want to know who my father is you want to know what I where I've been let me tell you who my father is let let me tell you where I have been. Let me show you who I am. Let me show you the enemies, the, 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 the demons that I have slain. Let me show you where I have been been i'ma tell you you ask me i'ma tell you what i have been i'ma tell you who i am i am the beloved of the most high i have been called for such a time as this i i have the biggest loudest baddest battle cry you have ever seen i have defeated lions i have defeated um uh, bears i have defeated anything that has come come against me that's what i've been i've been slaying for jesus that's what I've been doing. I've been preaching my curls off, if you know what I mean. That is who I am. And can I tell you that this is just the beginning? Can I tell you that I was just catching my breath? Can I tell you that I was just warming up? Can I tell you that you ain't seeing nothing yet? That the big D 
demon, that big devil that I defeated last night, that is just the icing on the cake. That is just the aperitif. That is just the appetizer. That is just the soup and salad. That is just the warm up. I'm about to go for the entry. I'm about to go for the biggest banquet meal you have ever seen. You're going to see bodies laying all around this place right here because I am ready for this. I was created for this. That is who I am. That is what I'm doing. Now what? Where are we going to go? Who do we have to pray for? Who do we have to lay hands on? Who do I have to tell them about Jesus? You tell me I'm there. You show me I'll go. I got my preaching Bible. I'm ready to go. What do you need me to do? Who needs some straightening out? Where are the enemies that have been taunting and lying to you? Let's go body check them right now in the name of Jesus. Who was this for? Who was feeling down today? Who was feeling like life was uh, like my? Who was feeling mad today? Let me know if you were feeling mad because after watching this broadcast, it is impossible for you to feel mad anymore. You can't feel like that anymore. You just can't. It's impossible. Now you know who you are. Now you know what your battle cry sounds like. I want you to exercise it. I want you to show up like you know who you are. I want you to strap your stuff. I want you to flop the curls and say, I'm here. I have arrived. Anything that doesn't belong here, better go before I start body checking some people. I am not afraid to fight anymore. I thought I was a, a lover, not a fighter, but that was a lie from the enemy. I am a fighter. I know who I am. I know where I'm going and I know where they're going. I don't know who this, this was for. I have no idea. I know that my assignment, my job, my requirement was to share with you and get you pumped up and get you excited and remind you what God is doing in this season for you. Start flexing your muscles. Stop body checking people and watch what happens. You are about to enter a new season, literally in the natural and in the supernatural. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you understanding that God is powerfully moving you, shifting you, but you have to participate in your deliverance? Can I tell you that? Can I tell you that he wants you to participate, to be an active participant, to be an active recipient of what he's doing in your life? Can I just tell you that, that he doesn't want you to crawl into victory. He wants you to jump into victory. He wants to, to for you to show up like the amazing battle amazing man of, uh, and woman uh, of God that you are, that you are coming in victorious. You're coming in body checking people. You're coming in laying hands on people and the enemy is fleeing because they know you're coming in the name of Jesus. That's how he wants you to go into your promised land. That's how he wants you to enter with thanksgiving in your heart, with a battle cry that wakes up whoever was sleeping, with a battle cry that it is so big, with a battle cry that is so big bad that anything that was sleeping on the inside of other people is being awakened because of your battle cry it ain't about you it's about everybody else that needs to be reminded that they are true worshipers of the one true god can i get an amen do you get something out of today do you feel like you're a warrior now do you feel like you have been awakened do you feel like you're not about to give up that you are victorious and i have a good morning my brother good to see you god bless you reuben this is the time this is the time to fight. This is the time to fight from a place of victory. This is the time to fight when you know that you are already a winner. You don't care the size of your enemy. You don't care how big they are. You don't care how many how many enemies they have slain. You don't care about any of that. You are with the one that defeated death. Who else has defeated death before? If he is with you, who can be against you? If Jesus is with you, he's on your camp and he is battling with you and he's showing up with you and showing everybody else and their brother who you are, that you are his. And the Bible says that the ones that the Father has given me, they will not be able to pry them from my fingers. They will not slip through my fingers. That is who you are. That's how much he's been fighting for you.
he just wants you to join the fight he just wants you to have some supernatural fun in the name of jesus that's what he wants you to do hallelujah oh my god almighty i feel his presence thick in this place i feel his presence thick in this place pick up your shield pick up your sword you are a winner you can carry it it's not too much for you you can do it you are already victorious it is already done everything you have been praying for is already here the but the lord is saying go get your stuff go get the new stuff that i laid aside for you it's already here all you have to do is get it all you have to do is get it, Jasmine, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is the time. This is the moment. This is the place. What are you waiting for? 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 Start shouting. Start shouting. Start body checking. Even if you don't see anything there, start body check checking. Start doing the thing that he's called you to do. Start doing it. Stop fighting even if you don't see it. Start shouting even if you don't if you don't hear anybody shouting back at you. Start letting the atmosphere know that you are awake. The giant has been awakened. I need you to type that for me. The giant has been awakened. The giant has been awakened. Watch out. The giant of the Lord has been awakened. Oh my God. I want you to get it. Did you get it today? Did you get it today? Did you get it today? The giant inside of you has been sleeping for far too long. The giant inside of you has been sleeping for far too long. You are awakened, my daughter. You are my awakening, my son. You don't even, the enemy just don't know what he had gone and done. He had been messed. He messed with a hornet's nest and he had no idea what is in store for him. That is some serious body checking i keep saying that because there is something that has been elbowing you for a while this is for somebody there's been something that's been making you uncomfortable rubbing you the wrong way there's been something that's been edging on you there is something that you've been feeling uncomfortable about and you think you cannot body check that thing back i don't want you to say ouch anymore i want you to say what what do you think you're doing who do you think you are you better stop messing with me that nonsense ain't gonna fly here no more no 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 no. you cannot touch me like that anymore you cannot talk to me like that anymore you cannot even look at me like that anymore i am the beloved of the most high stop messing with me it just because you looked at me that way i'm gonna body check you one more time because you have been messing with me for far too long you have been messing with me for far too long and your time is up your time is over i know who i am i know where I'm going I forgot for a hot minute but I'm here now I forgot for a hot minute but I now understand who I am and where I'm going and where you are going Jesus I cannot leave that place this is for somebody that has been too timid that has been too permissive that has been too complacive that has been just just taking the seasons as they come just crying and saying god please help me god please help me and you're crying and i'm telling you i understand i've been there done that you gotta start decreeing the word the lord of the the, the, the word of the lord and body checking turn those tears into a battle cry turn those tears into a battle cry turn those tears into a battle cry did you hear me i'm saying it so many times because you are on the verge of a major breakthrough you are on the on the verge of a breakthrough that you have been praying for the longest time you are on the verge of the breakthrough that you have been praying for that your mama has been praying for you that your grandmother has been praying for you that your granddaddy has been praying for you there have been people praying for you and now you have to receive the answer now you have to receive the answer 
Now you have to receive the answer. Now you have to receive the answer. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. It's already D O N E done. In the name of Jesus, the answer is yes. Yes and amen. Not only yes, but yes and amen. 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 That is your portion. That is your portion. That is your portion. That is your portion. Why won't you receive it? Why won't you receive it? Listen, you get to decide how to get out of this situation. You get to decide to receive what God says instead of what the enemy has said. Right here, right now, you get to say, this season is over. I'm entering into my new season, all kinds of fine. I'm entering in my, into my new season like I know where I belong. I'm entering into my new season like God has been saving me a seat in the front. Have you ever been gone to a conference and your friend gets in before you and they text you and say, don't go to the back. I saved you a seat. Can I get an amen? God has saved a seat for you right in the front. God has saved the seat right in the front next to Jesus. He said, I saved the seat for you. Who is that for? Get excited. Get excited. He saved you a seat. He saved you a seat in the front. He saved you a seat in the front. You don't got to go to the back anymore. You don't have to go to the back anymore. He saved the seat for you. He saved a seat for you. All you got to do is walk it out, baby. All you got to do is body check the people in your way. All you got to do is, is body check all the enemy has put, all the obstacles, all the, all the feelings, all the thoughts, all the situations inside of you, outside of you, in the atmosphere. Body check. Body check your way to the front. Body check. Body check your way to the front. Body check. Body check your way to the front. Use the shield. My friend, use the shield. Use the shield. You have already you already have a seat. 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 Who needed this today? Just say it me. Just type me, who needed this word today? Who needed this wake up call today? Have you changed your stance? Have you changed the way you're showing up to the fight? Have, have you changed the way you show up? Have you changed the way you show up on the fight? I'm telling you, you're dangerous now. I'm telling you, Pam, you are dangerous now. The, the giant inside of you has been awakened. The giant inside of you has been awakened. This was for you. I was fighting for you last night. I thought I was fighting for me last night. I was fighting for you. I thought it was my fight. It was your fight. Now take it on. Now take it on. I'm passing on the baton to you. I fought last night for you. Now it's time for you to fight for your own battle, your own fight, so you can fight for other people and pass the baton today as well. Hallelujah. I don't even want to leave this place. This place is thick with anointing. This place is thick with grace. Oh my God Almighty, he's amazing. I love him. I am a preacher, y'all. I don't know if you ever had a doubt in your mind. I don't know if you ever had a doubt in your mind that I was a preaching woman of the word of God. But now you know if there was ever a doubt in your mind, if there was ever any doubt that I was created for such a time as this, if there was ever a doubt that this is the vein that he wants me to go, if there was ever a doubt that this is my portion for this season in this time, listen, this is my portion. 
this is my gifting. This is what I am to do. Father God, I receive it in the precious name of Jesus. There is a seat in the front with my name on it. First name, middle initial, last name, with my social security number, with my size, and everything in everything i bless you today i pray you watch this as often as you need to i pray you come back here when you need a dosage of remembrance when you need to be reminded again of who you are why you were created why you are here why you have been faithful all these years for today you have been faithful all these years for today it has not been in vain it has not been a waste of time. You have been faithful all these years for such a time as today. You have been faithful for today. All the things that the enemy has done for you, it has been for today. Good morning, Mike. Good to see you. God bless you. This is the season to fight. This is the season to do the battle cry like you I never done before god bless you today and keep you may you not forget who you are why you were created why you are in such a place as you are today you're entering into your new season you are entering into your new season you are entering into your no see you know season you are entering into your no season and you're not gonna be going in uh limping hopping in one leg no 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 that's not how you're gonna show up you're gonna show up like david when he was praising god and he took his robe off and his tunic so he can praise better so he can go down and dirty and really praise and worship that's how you're gonna enter into the new season you know that 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 silly um challenge that people are doing that in my feelings kiki do you love me i know people have gotten into ain't nothing wrong with that but i can tell you that we're gonna praise god in a at a whole different level we're gonna be praising god at a whole different level in the name of jesus god bless you today know that i love you know that it has been my pleasure to wake up to awaken the giant inside of you and to let you know that god is ready he saved you a seat in the front jesus have a blessed day i love you i love you that i love you in jesus name have a blessed day amen amen and amen